Hello everyone and welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise and today we are planning in my big happy planner. This spread was originally going to be a classic size spread and then I grabbed the material I was going to use which is in my hands and I started playing around a little bit just kind of like putting things around and I realized this is better for a bit. So if you saw my stationary haul um at some point in April, you would have seen these stickers that Stationery Pal sent me. And these are like little stamps and they're so cool. The problem is when I was looking at my classic, the classic size box is probably about here. And I felt like they were going to just take up too much space in my classic. So I decided we were going to use them in my big instead. And I have a lot of brown in here. So I was pulling through some of my um, brown stickers and I decided we're just going to do like a neutral color kind of themed spread. So I'm just going through these and sort of separating out the ones that have the brown color. Some of them have like a little bit of a green. These are pretty. I don't know that I want to use them for this though. Um, so I'm a little nervous about this spread. I feel like... Uh, as I described myself recently, which probably like isn't the best way to describe my planning style, but it's a little predictable. And I think that where I struggle with that is, we're gonna peel one of these off. As a content creator, um, I don't wanna be predictable. I want you know to be sharing new and exciting things so that you don't feel like every video you're watching of mine is the same. Um, part of me wants, look how nice that looks. I think I want to cover up these lines while I chat about my challenges as a creator. I feel like it was only recently that I started referring to myself as a creator. I was just a planner putting my plans on the internet for all the world to see. But <laughs> I guess that, you know, with the volume of content I put out there, I am a creator. And so I think that I could probably open my planner each week to the same style of stickers and the same setup and everything like that and be okay with it. I don't know that I would get bored with my planners that way. Um, so like part of me feels like a little bit of an imposter, like maybe I'm just trying something new for you, but I'm also not opposed to trying new things in general. So when I do try new things in my planner, I'm not necessarily, I want to move that over. I'm not necessarily going to be trying like new, what's the word I'm looking for? New ways of laying out my spreads because, you know, these planners don't, these like these pages, right? When I finish a spread, they don't just like, okay, video's done. So I'm never going to look at this again. I use it as my planner. And anytime I try something really different with functionality, it doesn't work for me. Like I always use, I always create my spreads based on how my brain works, how my, what my life looks like plan wise and all of that stuff. So, you know, there is a, I guess a limit to how far I can go with it um, because of how I plan. So we're going to still try and play around a little bit with, you know, some new things because I'm not opposed to that. I don't know. I, it's just kind of a, I'm in like a weird place when it comes to my content. I'm enjoying it so much, probably more than I ever have. Like I'm really having fun. I am waking up craving being creative and filming a video. I just want that video to be something that uh, you enjoy as well. I think that there's definitely a balance, right, as a creator of making things that I want and making things that you want to see. At the end of the day, I'm not going to use product or stickers that I don't like or that I don't think apply to my life because that wouldn't be true to me. And I think that where I've always been as a creator, not as much intentionally, but just for no other reason, is just being really true to who I am and not trying to, you know, be anyone else, pretend to be someone I'm not. Like when I say 
that happened not intentionally. I just started sharing who I was and sharing my style and stuff, those types of things. Um, it never really occurred to me to change things up. So that's sort of the season I'm in now is going between changing things up and also sharing what makes me happy. Um, because if this account ever becomes this account, my Instagram, all of that, if those spaces online ever become something that doesn't feel like me, I'm not going to enjoy it as much anymore. It has to be me. So, you know, there's opportunities that I politely decline because I don't think that it fits well within my audience, all that kind of stuff. So that said, these are really cool. I don't know what they're called, but I'll find them and link them below. I'm pretty sure that code Elise still works as a discount code on Stationery Pal. What's really neat about them is even though they're not fully clear stickers, they're kind of like these little white, I almost call them like washi strip stickers. They feel very, uh, they look like very much like they're already on the page. So I thought it might be fun. There might have been a better way to do this. I'm not sure, but I thought it would be an interesting look to kind of put them across here as sort of like stamps. Now, I was hopeful that I'd have enough brown ones to maybe do the same at the bottom, but I don't know if that's going to work because I did separate these. Although this one would be fine too. Um, I still don't think I'll have enough. I think what I might do, even though I don't usually do this, is go across this left side here into the sidebar a little bit. So it is like all the way across the spread. But first, I'd like to cover this line up. Okay, then maybe we'll take, let's take this one. And one of them I did notice actually said May on it. That's September. It's hard to see because of the foil. Look at me using foil. I don't remember. It might have been another color that said May. Oh, you know what? It was this one. May 5th, 1968. That's the one. Okay. So let's bring this in. Kind of layer it there. And then we'll take this one. And this one will need to be trimmed, of course. I don't know how I feel about going all the way across the top there. I don't know that I ever have really done that in my plan. But we'll see if I hate it. The good news about doing it at the start of the spread is that if by the time we're finished here, I hate it, then I can uh, always figure something else out. Okay, now I also grabbed the Modern Year sticker book because I know that this has plenty of like brown and neutral hues. Like we have, it'll be all right. We have happy appointment stickers. Um, so, and I know that there were some quotes earlier on. Maybe one quote. Stay true to you and best day ever. So, you know what? Let's start with stay true to you. Not to, not to copy Mary Ellen, but if we were to name this spread, this might be stay true to you, even though I'm trying to not stay true, that I can't figure out if I'm staying true to myself or not. I don't know. And I'm just putting it all on the line for you to hear like what I'm thinking about, how I'm feeling about all of this. It's just, it's been, it's been an interesting, you know, like thought process that's been going through my mind lately. I think I want to move this over. And then I have this grid washi tape that um, I actually want to like slice it straight down. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. It would probably be on wax paper. I don't want it to be ripped. I don't think. I think I want it to be like a straight grip. So what I could do, we're going to we're gonna try something here, is take out my knife. 
And because this washi already has a line on it, I'm going to slowly follow that line so that I can cut straight. Oops, almost. Okay, we did it. I probably wouldn't do this on the page because I, I, I ripped the page a little bit. I should have done it on something else. And then I think we're going to like bring this in down here. Oops. I don't know. But was that that crooked? Did I really cut that so crooked or did I put it down crooked? I think I just put it down crooked because the space on each side of the grid seems to look right to me. So let's try this. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's see how it goes. All right, now of course we need a box. So I have a bunch of boxes here to the side. I have neutral boxes by Mojo Jojo Plans, big neutral boxes, monthly boxes, and brown boxes and more. And we'll figure, oh, this one's like the perfect match. So I think, I think maybe a combination. I might actually start with a dark brown. Let's move these over. Because I think that we do have some dark elements and this one we're going to kind of bring in right over there. I like how that looks. Okay, now of course, because this is my big planner, I need a checklist stencil. I can't plan in my big, I have a sticker, what is happening here? This was against something and it pulled off all these other stickers. I can't plan in my big planner without checklists. So once I get these all off here, oh my goodness. Okay, then we can put this down and I also might do a header box. So I'm going to go lower with the checklists. Now, because I decorated most of the top, that pretty much means that all the checklists are going to go throughout this space. So I think I'm just, I'm going to like oh, do the thing, which I wouldn't normally do this. I'm also wondering if I should have done the checklists in a brown pen, but I'm not going to write in brown pen. So sometimes my black pen does look a little bit like out of place with the rest of the spread before, whoops, before there's pen in it. But once I add the pen, I think it all kind of comes together. So we're going to go ahead and just put the, all of these in. It almost makes it easier when I do a lot of decorating at the top or bottom, or even just in one row of a vertical spread, because then I kind of know where everything else is going to go. Now, my plan is not necessarily just to throw boxes and then we're done. Like there are some stickers here um, in the modern year that I do want to play around with and the washi too. So if you're like, I know exactly how the rest of the spread is going to go. I don't know. It might, again, there's that balance. It's funny because my word of the year is balance. And my focus of balance when choosing it as my word of the year was really to give myself a work-life balance, but I'm finding balance. I'm finding ways to add balance in so many other areas of my life. And that's what I love about a word of the year. I know there are people who aren't on team word of the year, like they feel like it's too much pressure and, you know, you don't have to choose a word that applies to your entire year and all of that. And you don't have to, you absolutely don't have to. I'm choosing to because it works for me. So, you know, years ago, I like this caffeine and confidence sticker. That's going to go right there. In 2020, when I chose my word of the year, which was release, it really applied to so many areas of my life. Like, you know, things in my home, because I moved a couple of times, I ended up also releasing a relationship like, and now balance. I think this color might be better here. Yeah, this one's better. Um, balance. While I'm still working on achieving balance in work and life, I'm now finding ways to incorporate balance into, you know, business as well. 
So what I am going to do here is we are going to put these same boxes. Is that the right color? That's not the same color. Above each of the headers. So I recently went through, are these not the same color? What's going on here? This is where, oops, there we go. Nope, that's not it, these. Okay, I think these. I recently went through and did a color coding sort of situation of all of my box stickers. Um, I saw the idea from Desiree, this is not the right color. What is it? I'm struggling. Where did I pull these from? I pulled them from here. But are there only a few of that color? That can't be right. Okay, so I want the ones with the dark brown. This should be it. Ugh. I saw the idea from Happy to Plan with Desiree, and I know that's right. She got the idea from someone else. I don't remember who she mentioned and she got that idea from. But it was really helpful because I was able to just look at the page that I made in a notebook and see what which sticker books had different stickers that would match this without having to open and flip through all my stickers, which is usually the struggle. So we're going to get these down. And again, we're just kind of mapping things out so that I have an idea of what, whoops, what the rest might look like. I do need to get these stickers off my fingers though. <laughs> okay. Now let's go back. So rise and shine. I want to put this here and I want to do it the same way that I did that washi strip. So first up, we are going to cover this. And this is going to go almost all the way to the edge. And then this one, well, this washi is a little bit thinner because I didn't, because of the way I cut it, but I think we're just going to be okay with it going down this way. And then we'll take another box sticker here. That's where I think that my planning, like in terms of my view and like what I'm looking at is really a, let's balance it out. We did it over here, let's do it over here. Sometimes I see spreads from other people, not just creators, anyone sharing their planner and I need to punch these. And I find them so beautiful and creative and they're stunning and works of art, but I don't know how I would necessarily put my life in them. That's where I, that's where like the, the stop happens for me or whatever, whatever the wording is. Okay. Tuesday is, um, my stepdad's birthday. So I want to see if I can put something in here for that. Maybe important. Hmm. Maybe we can bring in one of these stickers. Maybe this one, but we're going to cut off the focus because I don't need focus. I know it's his birthday. So I don't necessarily know at the time of filming this what the rest of my Tuesday would look like. Normally, it would be a... Um, Patreon Zoom night because it's the first Tuesday of the month. However, with it being his birthday, I don't know what my plan will be. By the time this video goes up, <laughs> I'll know. So if you're a patron and you're watching this and you're like, wait, you don't know whether we're having a Zoom, don't worry. Whatever I announced online will be <laughs> the final thing. It's just that, you know, not everyone in my family is going to plan weeks in advance like I do. And I was thinking about it and I was like, if my stepdad wants to do something, of course I am happy to celebrate. However, it's not a milestone birthday. So typically, I'm gonna move this. Typically what that might mean for our family is that we celebrate over a weekend versus on the actual day, but who knows? 
my brother's birthday this year was not a milestone birthday necessarily and we still went out on a Tuesday all right this is being moved and then I'm going to take rest and relax here now rest and relax and rise and shine are pretty different stickers however <laughs> I uh, do you like to rise and shine on a Sunday? I like to get the things done. Whoops. As I am now, actually. It is Sunday morning right now. And I like to rise and shine and get it done early because then it's not weighing on me all day. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time relaxing when I have things pending on my list. So like... My plan this morning is to film this video and then edit and upload this video. Maybe schedule it as a Patreon early access. I'm going to do an exercise. And then I have a couple of other plan with Elise administrative things to handle. I actually have two more videos to film and kind of just preparing for the week. So. My hope is to be finished with all of that by, um, what time would I like to be finished with all of that by? Maybe 12.30, and right now it is 8.49. So we've got a couple hours ahead. Okay, so we're going to put this box in over here. This is like a very slow paced, a little rambly kind of video, but I'm here for it. I'm, you know, I'm relaxed. I think that <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit at peace today, which is nice. I don't always feel peace, but so far this morning I am. The day is early though. All right. I like these. I like this. It will be all right sticker. I don't necessarily want to do like all, all these beige quotes up top here. So I think that we're gonna bring in maybe this happy sticker down here. And then the reason I moved these was because these were similar and I didn't want these two next to each other and then have this beige one over. So I wanted to put this in the middle, which is a change I often make. Let's see. Hmm. We do have that other important sticker. I, this It will be all right sticker. I'm kind of like, eh. It makes it seem like it's going to be a bad day um, or that something else is going on. So we're going to swap these locations. And the reason we're going to swap them is if I'm ever having a day where I'm like, hmm, it often will be a Saturday, also a Friday. It's really strange. So I, like probably everyone who works Monday through Friday, cannot wait for the weekend. I'm, I can't wait for it to be here. And then the weekend comes. And if I don't have plans, I find it to be a very quiet and sometimes like sad. <laughs> like, I, I hate using that word sad, but it's okay to be sad. We can't, we, we shouldn't have to be ashamed to feel sad but it can be this like um polarizing quiet in my life that that's something that I definitely notice sometimes with weekends um and it's not only because I'm single I mean probably part of it, right? Because if I wasn't single, maybe I would have someone to spend the time with, or maybe I would have kids or something like that. But right now, you know, where I'm at in my life, most of the people in my life have their, their families and, you know, their, their plans. And last, a recent, the weekend before the one where I'm filming this, it was a very love family filled, not family, friends filled, busy, busy weekend. And I saw so many people and it was wonderful. And I just had um, an amazing time. I kept saying it was like a cup filling weekend. So I'm glad to have time to kind of get back on track with other things this weekend for myself. 
However, I'm noticing the quiet. So we are doing things to fill the space. We are filming, I am exercising, I am reading, you know, organizing, cleaning, all of those kinds of things that help me, um, help me in a couple ways. They help to keep me occupied. They also help to get things done and be productive. I thrive in productivity. I using my energy like physically is a really great tool when I might be feeling a little eh about things. Um, and so that's one of the reasons that we are getting things done today. I want to put something else over here. I also want to play around with these a little bit. So let's see. Um, we could bring in one more box. I feel like it's going to get a little, a lot of, a, a little boxy. I like this. Focus me. Hmm. I think we're going to do this. Let's take this sticker, shift it over, and do focus me right there. I feel like that looks cool. Okay. Um, moving on to the sidebar. Now, I love a habit tracker. I think that these... We've got one, that's a weekly checklist, it's Abba Tracker. We've got one there. The rest might have been fully used. Hmm. Need to think. Okay, before I do that, let me just have this paper out here. I have this Zig Clean color. Oh, that's strange. It has like a, like a black hue. You know what it may have been? If I like used it, okay, is this color going to work or is it going to be too orange? I think the color might work. I have one more. We've got this one. Let's try both of these and see what works best. I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like how this is. Maybe because I haven't used it in a while. Do you see what's happening? We're getting like that that black in there, which is very strange. I can't quite figure out why that's happening. Hmm. I don't know how I want to handle this. I could, because I know this sticker book has it, we could go through and do the bullets. And this is where I get lazy, because I don't want to sit here and put down all of these bullet stickers. Do I think it would look better if I did? Absolutely. So I think we might take a coffee break while I do this. Sometimes it just hurts my hand. Like, where are my tweezers? Can I not even use them this spread? Mm -mm -mm. Well, if I can't find my tweezers, I can't put these down because I'm not putting down 49 bullet points without tweezers. I do have tweezers, but these are my bad ones. I have two sets that look the same. These are old. I, they're like stained, not necessarily dirty stained. Oh, I found them. Okay. So we're going to see how I feel about this. Hmm. Maybe we do one set see how I feel color wise. I do would prefer to do this lighter one because then I don't have to use a white pen to um, check them off. But my hands will get sore at some point during this. So it's like a lot of bullet points. But I think it actually is really adding something spectacular to the spread. So we are going to keep it. But before I do that, let's get some of this sidebar worked on. So I know I'm using this. Let's look back at this sticker book. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wish I just had priorities versus today. But we don't. So I'm going to keep going <laughs> until I find exactly what I'm looking for or come up with a plan B. Maybe we bring these in. I just want a heading. That's all I want is a heading. Important. We just did the that little important, maybe. Oops. There are some clear ones. Evening, focus on, errands, loving. Maybe we do loving. This planner is not necessarily the planner where I list things out in the sidebar. This is the one where I'll kind of recap at the end of the week. Listing things out is really more for my dashboard planner. That's where the most mapping out happens in terms of plan with Elise. And then my goal planner, which is the monthly layout, is where most of my, well, some of them are planned with Elise. Anyway, this isn't the planner where I necessarily do a brain dump. A brain dump will typically just be like a sheet of paper for me because that's where, that's how it's gonna work. And we'll get these down. I'm really liking this. I feel like it's different, but it's still very me. And I have no doubt that it will be functional. So I like that. And then I wanna do something at the bottom. We may do a, like a full box at the bottom. So if I go back down to the brown, like a journaling box, just to kind of something with the spread. Let's go back to modern year. I'm looking for another heading. Ah! Or instead of that, Let's take one of, no, that's gonna look weird with these. Mm. We do have one more of these stamps. This is kind of my tester stamp. So I think that and do this. And this is gonna go here and I'll trim that edge. And then we kind of layer this over it. Scissors are here. Okay, let's, this is the sticker book I needed for the bullets. Um, all right, I'm probably going to do the bullets off camera, to be honest, just because I know it's going to take a while and I do, I will need to rest my hand, otherwise it's just going to hurt. So you can kind of see how it'll look here. That said, I really love this spread. I think that it's just a different look for me. I like the colors in it um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble about all the things and sort of maybe use you as a therapy session. I don't know, <laughs> but um, that's a wrap. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do take a moment to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you next time.